I just I don't think anybody likes talking about going to the toilet. It's not really a fun topic. Um, there's a lot of pain and embarrassment that comes with it, the urgency. Um, I think for a lot of people, that's something that you don't really get over. It does have quite a mental impact. I know anywhere I go, I need to know where all the toilets are um, before anything else. And when you're in remission, that does sort of lapse a little bit and you do begin to relax and think, oh, you know, OK, I can just chill out like everybody else. But I think it is... It's more than a toilet illness as well, though. There's so much more that comes with it than um, just the bowel side of it. Um, you can get skin complaints, hair loss, eye irritation. Um, the list goes on, and especially being on immunosuppressants, um, which is one of the treatments, you're just susceptible to lots of other illnesses um, and you don't shake things off as easily. So it is sort of a constant balance between trying to feel like a normal person and trying to manage your illness so you don't forget that you've got it but it just becomes quite a big part of you so I think it becomes taboo because you don't want to be that friend who's like oh I can't do this or I don't want to do that or that you stop getting invited to stuff because that you've always got an excuse and I think as well because when you are well you do look really well and it's one of those invisible illnesses that people forget that you are ill or that you're not making it up and I think that's why the work of Crohn's and colitis is so important because they have so much information on their website that is available to people to get across that it's not just a toilet illness and that there are many layers to it. So I think that's why the charity is important and that's personally why I wanted to be part of it.